4 30. <laughs> we're going to get to the airport at 5. I'm so tired. <laughs> It's the airport. I like four in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Airport at 4 a.m. <laughs> airport at 4 a.m. Oh, good. This is the vibe. I miss the vibes. Yeah. I know. I love. Oh god, I love the airport. That sounds weird to say, but like I do. Hi guys. Good morning. It is now bright and early at uh, five a.m. Um, that's when I made it to the airport. So I'm gonna go through security now. Uh, sort of check in my carry-on and myself so I can get on my plane and go. So I'll see you guys soon. So we made it through airport security um, and now it's coffee time. I got a caramel macchiato because that's what I like. Uh, I have a few of my sister members up front with me, like Jem and Rowan right now. <laughs> so I know that uh, Rowan's not gonna like this specifically because he doesn't like sweet coffee and that's okay because it's my choice and I wanted it. <laughs> it looks like our plane just arrived so I think they're like deep cleaning and everything. Hi, we officially boarded the plane and uh, here we go. Welcome to Dallas! We always found stuff like this pretty helpful because there's our flight here, right? And it just tells you like, you're ready to go. And then there is our uh, plane to San Diego. All standbys will be accommodated once again. LaGuardia, final warning call, 2164, gate number two. Hello. Hi guys, it's Rowan. We are on our next flight, which will never be long. We'll be in San Diego, in California. And I don't feel like I need to like make myself, not myself, you know, because nobody knows me here. So, so it's all good. If we run into somebody, of course, I will um, keep you guys in, not being, you know, near and all. Um, I'm going to sit on the floor just have a note to ourselves. At one point we took a nap, <laughs> so I thought I'd just handle this last leg of the race, if you will. We have yet again managed to get a uh, window seat, so that's fun. Um, we're sort of closer up with the plane this time, and uh, here we have a little fun view. That might be fun to share. <laughs> we, we can watch people load the luggage, and it's quite quite interesting. We've got a very picturesque in almost like a like a commercial kind of way. But we can't wait to be in San Diego, and next time you see us, that's where we'll be. And we made it to California! Yay! And hi guys, I'm just getting my bags so that I can make my journey start, and I'm so excited. Um, I can't wait to do all sorts of stuff. Uh, just very pumped and uh, can't wait. We did it! Yay! I'm at my aunt's house <laughs> and we just picked oranges off of their orange tree. We're gonna see if they're good, but <laughs> don't know. It's kind of hot water here. What, um, that's okay. What uh, makes <laughs> in orange, good. What makes so like, orange? I don't know what that <laughs> what that entire entails. Oh, the water's not that hot. I take hot as showers. I, I turned it back to cold. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think like like um, you know, in orange. I think. Is that so those knives are actually really Yeah. What if they sort of like roll in there? Like you know how chefs do that thing where they're like, <laughs> it makes it juicy, juicy yeah. fruitier. They're like, like eating up the orange. Well, kind of just that's what you do with oranges. You kind of beat them up. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Oh my dude. So true. Um, so we have a cutting board. We do. With we have our oranges. oranges. Um, so where's like uh, a big boy? Probably just use like this one, right? Uh, Does that look too short? 
I think it might be two. Because those ones are like the wall. Well, I think we want the wall, right? You think so? I think so. That's, oh. that's, a, that's like a sword. <laughs> this is like a, <laughs> like, a, like, a, like a fantasy weapon. So true. Okay, so like you just... I hope he's actually ready. I think he probably is. <gasps> it looks like an orange! <laughs> Here, I'll try oh. and cut mine. Oh, he smells really good, <laughs> actually. Yeah. Sometimes we'll make orange, orange juice out of the oranges. Heck yeah. Dude. I'm just gonna dive in. Oh, look okay. at this one. Ooh, I haven't actually had an orange actually, in a while. He's pretty, pretty. I kind of want to cut it See? again. Ta-da. I'll and cut it, it into fours. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. I'm dumb. <laughs> I, I'm but a simple, simple orange buffoon. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah. You know what's nice about fingers. being on campus? Is, mm -hmm. um, like, at our dining hall, we actually had like fresh fruit from that's like grown actually on campus that you could just take. Oh my gosh. Dude. I've gotta say it, there is something about fresh seafood that is just so delicious. <laughs> Knowing that it came out like of like a beach like that way. <laughs> We're sort of using today to plan travels and what have you. Mm. It's very good. Um, so, I'm trying to figure out my LA day. I think I have a lot of time to think about it tomorrow. Later, perhaps. Of like when and how much and where all will be going. Mm. This is really good tech. Wow. But, um,. Yeah, I, I think today is just gonna be a rest day because I got really tired and I lay down to like take a nap. I, I didn't. I ended up just sleeping. <laughs> we got like fresh seafood, lunch kind of dinner, and um, I just took a big old nap, like a big old nap. So, yeah. cheers, dudes. Right now we've been very much struggling with the chronic pain issues from just flying on a plane for like five hours. Um, so we're taking today easy because uh, we have a lot of things we want to do this weekend tomorrow that we're just laying down and taking it simple so uh, we can do all the things we want to do later. This is a bit of the day. Ooh. It's hey. me. This is my aunt Sarah. What's we up? just got our um, fingernails did and our toenails done, but I'm not going to show my feet online. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm here with her. Uh, she's my my like soul family. I love her so much. <laughs> but we're just having a real good time. And this is my little update for you guys um, before we go off to dinner. And I'll take some video of that. And thank you for coming along. Look Yay. how cute my nails are. Woo. Nice to see you. <laughs> Please play Last Hope by Paramore. Here's Last Hope by nice. Paramore. I have the same Amazon music. I know myself alone. Thought I would be happy. I think that the tattoo is perfect. And honestly, like, it is a good reminder. It's, like, just subtle enough to be like, well, you know, like, even when you, all you have is yourself, like, if you're a spark, then, like, your fire won't go out. You're, then, exactly. Yeah, so. <laughs> And I know that feeling, sweetheart. Trust me. I know that. I don't want to say it's not worth it because there are a lot of people in this world that have just found a person that they can trip along with in their life. Yeah. No, it never has been. 
Yeah. Like, I've, I've never been the person that hasn't wanted, like, that soul partner. Like, that soul connection. And I just... You have to have it. Haven't found it. Like, that's something that I need, like, in a person. And I just... I just have never had that before. And I've never had somebody that, like, accepts me despite it all. Like, for everything that I stand for. Like, even if they're like, well, you know, we might disagree on one or two things. But, like, I I accept everything about you. You know, like, it's like, we might disagree on something, but that's okay. Yeah. Or, like, I I want to always be with you, no matter what. Like, even if you're depressed or anxious or... Like, um, and like I, I lost so much, like getting new diagnoses and things. And like, it's hard because I'm like, I don't know if I'll always be myself, but I also need somebody that's can accept that too. Yeah. And like wants to try and that's like, okay, cool. Well, you have multiple personalities. That's cool. Like I, I'll try my best to <clears throat> be like to, friends with all to, of you. Yeah, like, yeah. Cause you're important to me. Like, for somebody to come into it and be like, oh, there's more to worry about yeah. with you. Yeah. And, like, but, or to be like, you've been through a lot. Because, like, you know, I have. I have been through a lot of stuff and a lot of bad people looking for, like, that spark or that right person. And, like, it's just, it's just hard because, like, like, you want it to be right when it's right. Yeah. And, like, that's all I ever really wanted. I just was looking for it in the wrong places, so. You are you will never, ever find someone that you can truly be happy with until you're happy with yourself. No, and that's the thing. Like, I was like, I, I need to be myself fully. I need to, like, fall in love with myself again. Because, yeah. like, I lost that along the way. And, like, now with everything else, like... There is so much more to me than I know and that I even remember. And so I'm like, I I need to work on myself for a while. Like, yeah. I'm not a perfect person. Like, I'm, I would never say that I am. But, like, like it's, it's, it's just something, like, I, like, it sounds tacky, but, like, do you, have you ever watched RuPaul's Drag Race? Oh, I love that. I love that. It's the, if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love somebody else? else? And it's true. true. Like, it's true. You're not going to find that unless you're honest with yourself. If you're, you know what? I like girls. Yeah. Fuck. (laughs) Yeah. Christian, where are we going? We are going to Breakwater. Whoa. (laughs) Because we're having, what, burgers tomorrow? So ties would be a lot. It would be double burger action. <laughs> double burger action. We're not doing that, though. What do we have at Breakwater? Um, like sandwiches, and, sandwiches and like pizza and stuff. Yeah, we're going to go down on the beach and have a good, lot of good dinner. I'm very excited. We've had a lot of... Wait, is my makeup okay? <laughs> <laughs> We've had a lot of emotional conversations, so I had to check. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. Like so good. Yeah, it held on. I'm impressed. <laughs> but yeah, no, we're going to go have a big old family dinner, and it's going to be great. Yeah. So see you guys later. Hello. Hi. We're at Breakwater. Uh, and we're getting dinner. So. <laughs> Why is his hair wrapped? It looks like a torch, dude. Yeah, I don't know. Whoa. Oh. If they let the branches come down too soon before they're established, they'll break off. Oh, okay. So they keep them tied up. It kind of looks like the Olympic torch, though. Not gonna lie. guys, we're on the beach, right? Yeah, we are. A couple of, what, like I've had a couple of beers, you haven't I've had yet. zero. You've had zero, you're not old enough to drink. But we're here putting our toesies in the sand and the beach is gorgeous. We're being protected by the ocean. Yeah, the ocean's kind of attacking us right now, but that's neither here nor there. Yes. Wow, well, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I unhiked my skirt, Ooh. that was a mistake. Oh wow! Wow. Yeah. I'm 
kind of like try to hike up my skirt as much as possible though. I'm making little holes with my feetsies. Wow. The ocean is so beautiful, dude. Damn. Oh, I want to cut my skirt. I'm going back in the ocean. Ocean, I'm... Yeah. It hit my skirt a little too high. No, I got my leggies out. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> leggies on top, guns out, you know? Well, I don't think this is too far down. Well, <laughs> well maybe. <laughs> well, maybe. You can't stop me. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> I'm aware. <laughs> I know. I was back up a step or two because my feetsies were sick. Well, it, it didn't really. He didn't really stick around. Wow. Oh my God. It's so far up. My legs. <laughs> Red Wait, go guard. I gotta take a picture of you. Video oh, yeah. Creepily opening the door. What, what was the creepy about it? It was gentlemanly. <laughs> and we're getting ice cream. Yum. How do you do that? Sometimes they, they have like one where it's like the middle, but. Lime it. Lime it. ice cream and a chocolate covered marshmallow. I just wanted to say that uh, <clears throat> I'm very proud of Mira for all the work they've been doing. Self-discovering and being honest with themselves. <laughs> like our life is pretty coincide with theirs and just knowing that they're happy. That the way they identify now is making them happy. <sighs> it's a really good thing. Mira, I'm proud of you. You are so strong and you proved to me again and again just how fucking incredible you are. It is an honor to share this life with you. It is an honor to share our life with you for all of us on this journey called life and I'm drunk. We're a little drunk. I don't know if anyone can tell, but I can. But um, I can't wait to see what life brings for you now, being more honest with yourself about your life and your interest. Um, and I will always be here for you. Bye. I don't know what to stop. Good morning, day three. It's Mira. Um, today we're doing a family party, and yes, I accidentally fell asleep in my makeup. Oops. We're going to go down and have a nice relaxing time all together around the pool, having a drink or two, and just vibing, honestly. Our cute fit over the swimsuit check. Wow. Yay. I'm not gonna lie, all of that looks really good. There's muffins right there. Maker. No, but that's okay. You're making really baller cake. <coughs> Miss ba Mary Berry's own recipe. Miss Mary Berry's own recipe for the lemon drizzle. Lemon drizzle cake. Lemon drizzle cake. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I think we shall have some, yes. Fabulous. How delightful. Oh, <laughs> make a spot of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, it's Rowan. I am just checking in. Um, this is exactly the break we've been needing. My body. <laughs> I'm sorry, she was so cute. You are so cute, aren't you? Little goblin girl. Um, she's precious, ain't she? You're precious, aren't you? <laughs> sorry, I'm getting distracted by the dog. This is exactly the kind of break we were needing. Um, one that's good for not only our mind, but our discovery, our soul. Everyone to get <laughs> just a look at this baby, sweetheart. Um, but yeah, uh, this is the break that was much, much needed. Just to just like discover ourselves, find ourselves, and um, let Mira make a lot of discoveries for themselves. I am so proud to be a part of this system and a part of this group. I am so proud of the progress we are making and I could not be happier. I couldn't be happier for all of us. Just to get a break, to have a moment, to sit and think, to rest, to recharge, and to just, just to be, honestly. Um, it has been so nice not having to worry about just being well Christian learned to swim in this pool I also like almost well, learned to drown in this pool <laughs> <laughs> he said I almost died in this pool <laughs> oh my god there's lemons like my voice what am i doing <laughs> what am i doing i don't know i don't understand a mountain <laughs> they're not hurting nobody they're just little bees they're just little bees t why do you look so pretty what the heck no you no <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> what? this is the cactus and that's where we hide the bodies <laughs> what <laughs> I've just been informed that that mountain right there is Mexico. What? <laughs> it looks so close. I know we're kind of on the border right now, but like, Mexico. Bro, you know? Wow. Wow. Over here, because that makes sense. Okay, wait. Okay, but well, what about the numbers, though? You gotta get those, too. Um, I don't know when this is gonna one. pop off. <laughs> Hi guys, it's me, um, Rowan. We're, where are we? Um, we're at my Nana's house. <laughs> we're at <laughs> this gentleman's Nana's house. Yes. yes. And, and and this lovely lady, is that also your Nana or no? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not your Nana. No, we're right. Mary's cousins. Yeah, I know you. I've yeah. seen you around before. Yeah. I've just never officially met you. Yeah, hi, hi. <laughs> hi, uh, uh, oh, this is kind of fun. Sorry. <laughs> Don't fall over. <laughs> it's Mexico over there. Really? Yeah. Wait, yes. that's Mexico right yeah. there? Yeah. No shit. Are it's we really that cool. close? Yeah, yeah. We're pretty close. Oh my god. Yeah. You can kind of see like the cutoff. Yeah, right? Like where one would imagine said uh, cutoff is. <laughs> where the Cephia filter begins. Where the. Yeah, I <laughs> guess. <laughs> That doesn't it? Hold on, hold on. Can I get that on camera? Like, can I get it? It's sort of. It it's, doesn't. It's we're, we're not in a movie. Over there. We're not into movies. Yeah. Yeah. It. That's so wild. What? How does it do that? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Nature's wild. Because I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Need to find a way to like distinguish between southern california and mexico <laughs> just like, like, like a it's the same ecosystem the so they just put a filter on it you okay but like it kind of naturally looks like it kind of got one going on right because there's <laughs> like 
There's like all the, okay, no, no, but hear me out. Look, look at the tree line, right? Okay. You're looking at the tree line. You see all the trees. It's all green. It's lush. Yeah. And you look up in the mountain, right? Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. It's super brown and like misted over. And there's not a whole lot of trees up there. It there. looks like there's two completely different like things going on here. I think there's just not a whole lot of trees up there. Like, it's just a bunch of shrub. They're dead. Shrubs. Yeah, they are it's dead. Mountains. Shrubbery. Mountains be doing it's that. dead shrubbery. <laughs> it's all right. We are the knights who say me. Oh my god, are you <laughs> quoting uh, Monty Python? Yes. yes. I love that movie. I love Monty Python. I'm not gonna lie. I do love Monty it's pretty Python. Good. It is exactly my type of humor. Um, what was I updating? I don't remember. Is that where we are right now? Benito? Yes. Yes. Oh, we're in Benito in case <laughs> nobody knew. Yeah. Um, I've, I got, oh, I guess I've never met our family before. Not like officially. Yeah. Or any of us, I don't think. I don't think. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, this is so weird. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no. Nah. Yeah. Uh, I was just going to give a quick update of some party. sort. Uh, we just told her sister about, um, as she knows about us, I want to preface that, but we just told our sister about our host, um, identification, their sexual identity, and like, it went well, so that's all I had to say, I'm gonna stop recording, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a dork, I love you. <sighs> Honestly, this is so beautiful up here. This is our next fit check. It's super cute, super casual. And the morning starts like all good mornings do with coffee. Some mm -hmm. I defeated my cousin into letting me buy them gas. Yes. I have makeup under my eye. What? Um, Christian, where are we going? Um, to Starbucks and then to make it look. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm fun. excited. Yeah. And there's Tiana. And she's looking super cute. Wow, cutie. Oh, that hair flip, the sass. Oh, man. We have got our coffee and we are on our way to Temecula. Yeah. In like years. Temecula? Yeah. Temecula. We made it to Temecula and um, we're going to the olive oil company. Because um, we can, and it's yummy. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, tea over here. I know. Also, the pasta. It's so cute. Three herbs. We have roasted garlic, hickory smoke, jalapeno, dress it and dip it in our balsamics. Okay. All of them are available for tasting. We do like to pair things up, so you just let us know. work through them all. Okay, let's do it. Uh, we were gonna get a couple of these, so sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, tasting. Okay, so today we're how we'll introduce you will be with the traditional olive oil. Okay. Yeah. Just take a little sip, see how you feel about the oil, and then we'll introduce you to the next one. Over. Okay. All right. Thank you. Oh, oh yum. Right now. Yummy. Thoughts. Delicious. Delicious. Yeah. Delicious. Now, as an early harvest, that means that your olives are going to be a little bit more greener here. Honey balsamic. Now, honey here is one of our sunny sweet balsamics. Just gonna get a little dash of it here. Yum. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's really good. Oh my god, that's so good. That's the blood orange one. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yum. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna add that. Orange, orange palette on your tongue. Vanilla and fig. Yes, this is one of our few dark balsamics we have in our store. We have a little hint of sweetness, obviously, to pair with that vanilla here. Yeah, and some folks have come back and they're like, wow, this combo tastes kind of like a creamsicle. <laughs> a creamsicle? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I'm about to, like, <laughs> I'm about to have a moment. <laughs> it's really good. 
love spicy. Are we, are we teaming lemon up with something spicy? Not super spicy, at least in my opinion. The fresh lemon here is gonna go with our famous half of chili balsamic vinegar. Ooh, with our what's titled 911 half of chili vinegar. <laughs> our half has changed just a little bit, so over time we'll have a lot more vinegar than hatch ratio and it won't be as spicy. Yeah. I won't be calling emergency services on anyone, I hope. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah, that's tasty. Mm. Now, oh I shoot, this that's good. Yeah. Basil. Now, good basil, flavor. Very popular flavor, of course. Oh yeah, that's mm. very good. Oh it shoot. Tastes, it tastes a lot like this. That basil is really strong. Yeah, really that's I, yummy. Yeah. I am a pomegranate <laughs> lover. <laughs> now pomegranate's one of my personal favorites also. Ooh. Oh yeah, those are really good together. That's yummy. I need oh, yeah. to call out my strawberry salad, so I keep starting to cut going inside and sometimes I would die. Yeah, that would be really good. I would good. die, that was so good. Oh, fresh apple. Oh. Now, fresh apple is known to be the sweetest out of all of our vinegars. Mm -hmm. And that means this is strictly goes to the natural sweetness of the apple. It's mm -hmm. makes it my huge fan favorite too. Oh yeah, my gosh. It's really good. That's it's delicious. Like a little bit. Okay. Yeah. One thing when it comes to cider is spiced balsamic. With sriracha. Yum. Really Wait, roasted garlic and sriracha? Oh. Yum. With this, it's a little bit spicier, well, far spicier, than even our jalapeno olive oil. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. All right, okay. well. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Oh my god, that's now, good. Now, you're more likely to eat hickory smoke. Now, hickory smoke goes through a different process than the rest of the olive oils here. Oh. So, what we do is we smoke the hickory chips, we bottle that smoke, we let it cool, and then kindly bubble it through our oil. Oh, that's, cool. that's kind of fun. Yeah. Okay. This will be the first apple one more time. Oh. It kind of tastes like a tree, but like in a good way. <laughs> you ate a tree in a good way? Dude. A nice apple would smell the flavor. Oh, yeah. That's like mm. perfect to you. Oh, yeah. Those are good. Those are good. And finally, we will do the jalapeno olive oil. Yeah. <laughs> Spicy. <laughs> now, with the fresh jalapeno, it's not going to be as spicy as the zesty. The zesty, I think, also lingers for just as long. But this is a slow burn, so it takes a couple seconds for it to truly For it to up. heat up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mmm. Yeah. How are we feeling? Good. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, there's a the, kind of kick mm -hmm. in the yeah. back. All right, How's it's gonna go with the honey balsamic here. Oh, the honey balsamic. We're, we're having some fun now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> honey jalapeno. Yeah. Heck yeah. So let's make for a sweet heat combo instead. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Thank you. And here's what I'm bringing home for my roommates. All sorts of deliciousness. What do you get? I got the mascarpone, the fig gelato, and the olive oil. Yum! I also got the olive oil. I, I look like I am a shopaholic. Sample some uh, gelato. I will, I promise, I'll take the smallest bite ever. Thank you for the bite. I appreciate the nibble. I'm breaking my spoon. Oh no. <laughs> and let's go into the lime gelder company. So you can get me. Everything? <laughs> Don't tell oh. me with a good time. We got some goodies for me and my roommates. Wanna give them? Just some things to bring back for them and to enjoy. Look how freaking cute she is. Yeah. She's like gorgeous. What the heck? Like a whole wine taster. Yum. It's very beautiful though. I'll take but see, now you get the benefits of having fancy cheese. So true. We have How's the cheese, T? Very good. How's the cheese, Christian? Good. How's the cheese, Mies? Good. Real good. <laughs> you ever just ask yourself and then you're like, what am I doing? Like, like, delicious. Wait a minute, delicious. Pear, floral notes, their state veneer. It's spicy meat. Did you try it? Mm -hmm. I might take a bit. Oh my god, it smells so good. She might have to come back with us. <laughs> I'm not kidding. She's really good. <laughs> we got fancy cheese and wine. Oh yeah. Little wine lady. She knows her stuff. Oh, that's yeah. for sure. I think they probably have you memorize everything whenever you start working. Oh, God. 
Is it that different? It's completely different. Oh, crazy. She's completely right. Damn. It is so different. It's so good though. You can take the apricot in it though. Oh, really? Mm hmm yeah, you, you should... And the other one, it was more like pear and floral forward. Mm -hmm. This one, you taste more of the apricot, and it's definitely less sweet, like she said it was. Which one's your favorite so far? Uh, probably the second one. You think so? Honestly, even though it's younger than the other one, it tastes really good. Yeah, because we had a lot of rain, right? Like last mm -hmm. year. She said it's a perfect growth year, and I said it tastes like a perfect growth year. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> How is it? Exquisite? Ooh. 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 Fancy. <laughs> She's got some good taste to her. I want to have that conversation with my parents sooner rather than later, I think. Yeah, I think that would probably be a good idea. But it's not a phone call conversation. Yeah, absolutely not. No, it just is not a phone call. It, it's like breaking up with someone over the phone. Well, I mean, <laughs> I did, but that's because he also yeah, texted me. He really like, pressured you to do it. Yeah. I mean, you did it though. I did indeed. One more thing off the list. You were right. Yep. Just one more thing. Mm. To ultimate happiness. Yep. Okay. Hi. Look at this. You're going to have beautiful briar rose. Oh, Isn't that lovely? Delicious. Lovely? It's a beautiful color. Isn't that so mm -hmm. pretty? You're going to enjoy this one. Here you are, my dear. Thank you. You're so wonderful. Let's see. What are the flavor notes of their rose? Strawberry kiwi. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, look, see? Is strawberry kiwi and honeysuckle. Those are supposed to be like the after flavors. Oh, the like yeah. uh, atonement notes on your tongue. Mm -hmm. So you're supposed to like... Wine is interesting because it always has like kind of a consistent kind of flavor that right. wine has. But they have... Um, like they have extra notes that they're made with. So this one was made with strawberry kiwi and honeysuckle with the grapes. That sounds really So fun. it has like a different kind of taste. Right. <laughs> that sounds actually kind of fun. But also, I... If this is a really good rosé, then just saying. Hey, you're gonna bring one, right? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I also get like system notes in my head. System notes? Right? Like my eight raccoons in a trench coat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My little inner voice stuff. But now Rowan was like. <laughs> I was like, somebody likes it. I'm just gonna have to get a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, fun. Strawberry I didn't know he was a rosé guy. That's funny. I guess that. So. That's funny. Now this is the finale, finale, finale. This is the Muscat finale. It's absolutely wonderful. I know. It's a perfect way to finish your tasting Muscat finale. Oh my God! It's a dessert wine. Oh really? <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, is that really good? <laughs> I am so happy. Dang, that's you so good. You put this on your luggage key, and I want you to remember oh, this special you. gift you paid to our little winery. Thank you so much. I think home. we're going to get a bottle or two. And this is our fancy dinner look. Nice. Go oh, to taste the madame. Doesn't meet your approval. <laughs> oh yeah, <There> you go. <laughs> good stuff. Yeah, thank you, France, for all you do for me. <laughs> Guys here who have been teaching me more about uh, the France and their wine region. Yeah. And, uh, a king set laws, wine laws, 700 years ago that are still in practice today. Wow. Wow. That's, That's crazy. Cool. Well, thank you, France, yeah. thank <laughs> for you all France. you do for us. <laughs> that was pretty good. Okay. The celery, vinegar, mignonette, a touch of olive oil, and topped with a nasturtium petal. Um, the are delicious. Oh. And uh, more of the oysters come from the central coast. After uh, the oyster, please enjoy the mussel. The mussel has been poached and uh, prepared with a black garlic vinegar and mussel jus foam. And then they have a shio koji curd scallop, top of the pickled kamakwa and a fennel foam. After that, please enjoy the abalone that's been roasted and layered with an abalone mushroom. Mm. And it's topped with uh, umami forward glaze. And then we have our sea urchin polenta topped with uh, kelp powder and Santa Barbara sea urchin tongue. It looks really so awesome. good! Thank you. <laughs> 
huh? This one? No, the the one above it. The oh, the oh, the mussel was delicious. Oh, yeah. That was so good. Mm. Oh my god, I love that one. That was so good. <laughs> oh my god, this is really good. <laughs> These have been so good so far. I think this one might be my favorite though so far. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 Oh my gosh, it's so good. Folks, all gone, all done. So yummy. This is the beef tartare because I'm allergic to tomatoes. I have an intolerance and can't have it, but it looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. My Uncle Chris got an asparagus salad that looks way too good. <laughs> oh wow, look how fun. That's the avocado sorbet. Ah! A lemon foam? Awesome. Oh wow, that's fun. This is the third course, and she is That is beautiful. going to be a local California halibut. That is sitting in a madras curry oil with fava beans. You also have preserved lemon foam on top with sea grasses and pea tendrils, and it is it sounds It sounds so, so good, and it smells so, smells so, so good. <laughs> it's so magical, dude. I don't know what else to call it besides it's like absolutely perfect life-changing delicious magical <laughs> magical oh no i dropped her magical <laughs> when food tastes that good it should be illegal yeah <laughs> so my beautiful niece <laughs> took us uneducated people to a michelin star restaurant named Kali. We're sitting right here by this very fancy door <laughs> because they're not allowing diners inside or very small amounts. So we're outside. It's all good. We're eating the delicious food. <laughs> and this dude, random dude, comes out of the door. And I thought my niece was going to shit her pants. <laughs> and she's like, hi! But she doesn't do that. <laughs> Hi! Oh my god! And starts talking to this guy, right? Mm -hmm. I'm like, what's happening right now? Because that's not typical mirror behavior. <laughs> <clears throat> so I look at the guy, I look back at my niece, I look at the guy, I look back at my niece thinking maybe this is love connection or something. I'm not really sure. <laughs> love at first sight. Somebody got struck by a lightning. I'm not sure. And so she starts talking to him about the food. And I look at him again. And I said, is that the guy? Holy shit, it's the guy. Meaning the chef. The chef. The freaking chef, the Michelin star chef <laughs> that we're eating his food right now, was standing right there. right there. And I looked at him and said, Holy shit, you're the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Kill me now. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> no, you're good. It was very cute. I'm sure that it's a story you'll tell forever and ever and ever. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is course number four. Yeah, sorry. And she is beautiful. Okay. Oh, it and we just so met good. the chef, and I'm still freaking out about it. <laughs> and then I got a Cosmo. This it's magical. Is, uh, four ingredients all together and the blue isn't anything the blue is the dish um if, if okay there, anybody okay wants. um someone was thinking of like cracking it so the other day <laughs> oh no don't crack the dish don't crack the dish please, please. Don't don't crack the dish. So, yeah. eggs Thank eggs get so separated into their parts the whites get whipped into a very fluffy meringue and then added to strauss dairy cream and sugar mm. and then that gets spun into a gelato every day it looks pretty magical and it is mm. and then the, uh, the topping is the other part of the egg it's the yolks so oh. the yolks have 
have been cured in salt and sugar for about a month. Huh. And all oh the my moisture gosh. is drawn out by the crystals from the salt and sugar. Uh. So we shave it over top. I personally just shave these eggs. <laughs> and then, um, we shave it over top at the end, so there's a sweet and salty family reunion. Oh my it's god. Like, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Mm. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. This is going to be a dessert wine. This is going to be from a small island off the coast of Morocco called Madeira. And Madeira is has black sands. It's a it's a volcano island. Nice. And it's also an island, so the oceanic qualities really translate into the soil. It's sweet, it's salty, it's burnt caramel. And it's to pair with a sweet and salty dessert in front of me. I hope you enjoy it. Oh Thank, you my so much. Thank you so much. So much. Oh. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am celebrating also tonight having not had an eating disorder for 10 years and decided that this is a great way to celebrate it. So like I'm here with my family and we're celebrating. So we got a little extra treat. <laughs> Give it to me. Give it to me. It's pretty nice. I just want to know how it tastes. That's all. It's Moroccan whiskey. It's pretty fancy. Oh my god. <laughs> She's I, so good. <laughs> and for why? I think I like the gelato <laughs> the best. No. Macerated Pudwell Berries dessert. And Pudwell Farms is up to five. So if you drive from here to San Francisco, you'll pass the giant sign. Okay. And there are berries sitting in their own juices, this chocolate of vanilla bean, lemon curd, and then there's a pistachio shortbread, which is basically just a fancy cookie oh that Lord. has a pistachio butter underneath it. And oh peanut my God. butter. Oh my God. And then there's a strawberry granita sitting on top that is made from Harry's berries, upgrown in Oxnard. Oh my God. And it's from the garden, literally. The garden plot right over there behind the binder, because nice. we're friends with Charlene. <laughs> Put, get your spoon all the way down to the bowl. There are some things on this earth that are just too good to exist. <laughs> and that's one of them. So what did not we with, think? Not without my child. That right was here. amazing. Amazing? Aunt Sarah? <laughs> I'm broken. I'm broken. You're broken Completely inside. broken. <laughs> Walk Miranda. Very good. Very good? Here's how broken I am and embarrassing. I don't care. <laughs> 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 There's a couple postcards here that you're more than welcome to take, and oh, cool. this is actually the dish, the beaver tartare. That's what you've had in your taste. Mm. I tried some of it. It was pretty tasty. Oh, we got little truffles. <laughs> yeah, it was really and good. And those are dark chocolate truffles, uh, uh, flavored with fresh thyme. Otherwise, known uh, as chocolate thyme. Yeah. Matt and I are co con right now, and I just. <sighs> Not only is it like hard on me, but like it's hard to leave here for them too. Damn. <laughs> the real work begins now. And thank. God, we were able to figure out so much about ourselves here. And stop being afraid. <laughs> Just being, you know? I just... I just want to start living... Like, my best life. And that is not the life that a lot of people want for me. And I know it's gonna hurt some people. I know that some people are going to be surprised and shocked and um, <sighs> need time, I guess. But I also know we have so much love and support here with Square One and my own system. And I know it's gonna be hard, but I just can't live a lie anymore. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make myself unhappy so other people will like me or accept me. I mean, I really don't want to go to the airport. Oh. But 
we have to. So, one last time. With a cute little bee mask, because I love bees. Fit check. Super casual, plain attire. So our flight got canceled. <laughs> so now I have to figure it out and hope my uncle can come pick me up. And it looks like I get to stay in California for another day. And then bright and early tomorrow too. Try again. <laughs> so our flight got canceled. <laughs> I'm here because we're proper stressing out. Um, we got a boarding pass for tomorrow and a $200 voucher for another plane ticket, I suppose. Um, I don't know what we're going to do with it, but, you know, we'll see if our roommates can't use it, I guess. But uh, we are probably stranded until our uncle comes and gets us. It is a little stressful, but our flight got cancelled and there's really nothing we could do about that. So we're spending another day in California. I suppose we'll figure out something to do. <laughs> Hi guys, we're currently in San Diego. Um, Hayden is a little nearby. <laughs> I can hear it in my own voice. Not grunting fully, but near. So, I have a weird voice now, but my uncle is getting his tacos. <laughs> tacos from San Diego on, like, Pride Lane of old San Diego. Old downtown. So I'm really excited because we're getting surf and turf tacos. Delicious. Hot sauce, hot sauce, hot sauce, hot sauce. It's so good. These tacos are so great. Um, we're in Hillcrest, which is old San Diego, and Pride Street. And there's this little place called Oscar's Mexican Seafood. Mm. Oh my god, those tacos are so good. Now we're getting bubble tea. Um, so I got a peach smoothie boba, and my cousin who I'm picking um, boba up for, got a, uh, taro and boba, so, um, very exciting. Now we got bubble tea, and we're gonna figure out what we want for dinner. Yum. <laughs> oh. Yes. I'm gonna subject myself to takoyaki right now. <laughs> I'm about to subject myself to takoyaki. We're just gonna watch some Netflix, I think, and eat sushi, because we got sushi. <laughs> How's the takoyaki? <laughs> so choice. Mm -hmm. uh, I want one real bad. So I just need to takoyaki. Taco, taco, taco. I got little takoyaki balls. Taco. I just got out of the shower, still my hair is wet, so like, takoyaki. don't don't come at me. <laughs> takoyaki, takoyaki no you want me. Uh, aren't they delicious? Mm. Oh, do we want soy sauce? Shit, our, that's good. On our sushi? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're about to um, sit in and eat our sushi and watch True Crime. True Friendship Day, that's what we're watching. <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> it is true. Oh my gosh, is this like a thing? I guess so. Oh, oh here we go. The, this is more, yeah. this is more okay. what we were wanting. Miranda, what piques your interest here? Hmm. Let's try this one more time. Final look. Hopefully the plane will stay this time. Hi guys, we landed safely in um, Denver. My hair is a little bit of a mess. Um, but uh, yeah, last week of the race is Tulsa. And um, and that ends our journey. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was a good thing. <laughs> hope everyone had a fun time following me on a travel vlog. 
following my system on a travel vlog and um just getting to vibe with us and go through some important moments in life with me uh we're trying to be open and raw so i hope you manage to do that <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on moran doodle cosplay for more cool content